everyone, it's Nisha. So today I wanted to do July favourites. I'm a bit late, but you know I've been away. Um, first of all, I wasn't planning on doing this video today. So please don't ask me about my makeup because I wasn't paying attention when I was putting it on this morning. I just slept on a few. I know I've got something from Lorac Unzipped and dipping in some otherwise. So I won't remember what I've used. Um, on my lips, I've got probably five different lip liners. <laughs> Um, so yeah, I won't be listing what I've got on my face because I can't remember. The first thing I wanted to show you is this thing that I've actually been sent to me and I've been using it for a while and I love it. So this is Aquis Essentials and it is a hair towel. So I've got this one because this one is to give away. Um, as you know, I've been getting all sorts of different new nice products from companies and I always get, well not always, but most of the time get extra to give away and don't worry, I will do this giveaway, I'm collecting them all and I probably do it like a one bigger giveaway which will be international. So I just wanted to show you how it is packed. But this is mine. So it's one of those turbans, you know, that has has the, um, oh this is inside out. Um, that has the button so you put it on wrap it round and close it i'm sure you've seen loads of these and i've had some before in my life but i've never had one this good and the fabric is totally different to anything that i've had before and also what i think the size of it is great because um a lot of these turbans are quite small and it's okay for me because my hair is not that long but if you have very long thick hair I can imagine that a lot of those turbans are not big enough and seem to pull this one seemed to be really really nice size so let me read you about it why this is different the fabric honestly feels so much different it is not like your um, usual microfiber or sometimes you get those turbans they just yeah like a very soft mi microfiber this is a bit this is soft but a bit rough at the same time well basically they say that um your hair is the most vulnerable and damage prone when it's wet which is true um and also the normal towels can be a bit rough and and heavy so they um weigh your hair down as well so it says that it is Aquis Essential Hair Towel is made of Aquitex, which is an innovative fa fabric woven from ultra fine fibers to create a lightweight material with superior wicking, ca wicking, <laughs> wicking capabilities, more surface area for greater absorption and a soft, luxurious feel. It is super absorbent, dry hair faster, which means less blow drying, it's ultra soft, lightweight and machine washable. I think you should just remember, I mean, I, I haven't read it in here, but remember with these absorbent towels, you sh when you wash them in a washing machine, don't ever put fabric conditioner into it. You shouldn't do that with any microfiber cloths or anything like that because they lose the, ab the absorption abilities if you put fabric conditioner because it, it provides like a coating obviously on the fabric so whenever you have any uh, towels cloths that are supposed to be super absorbent when you wash them don't use fabric conditioner just your normal washing detergent um, so yeah, I really, really enjoy it. It is very light, it is very absorbent, it's easy to use because, you know, I've, I've always used towels and you scrunch it up and it's usually too short to, to tuck it in there and it falls off, it's really heavy. So um, yeah, this is definitely a lovely product and like I said, I will have one of those to give away. Well, I have one of those to give away. Okay, now I will start with um, skincare products. I love, love this eye cream. This is the Balance Snake Venom Eye Cream. Relaxes tired eyes, moisturizes and illuminates, 
minimizes undyed dark circles and bags. This is a very, very inexpensive cream. So sorry. Um, I first I found it in um, this discount store, a bit like TJ Maxx, and I thought I'd just try it, you know. And I loved it and I remember then when I started using this cream a lot of you suddenly started saying that my under eye area looks better and I think half of it is due to this cream and maybe you know I've been doing a bit differently my under eye concealing and setting and stuff like that but um, I really think that it does reduces my bags a bit and most of all it really really hydrates my my under eye area and you know i have tried so many creams i still love my tranquility skincare which you know i've been using for years and that cream really has made a difference but i sometimes feel that if you use something constantly your body your skin almost gets used to it so you need to change up things a bit but I have tried some expensive eye creams and I didn't feel they made any difference so I have actually repurchased that one because you can get it on eBay or Amazon and it's really really inexpensive and I feel that it does make a difference like I've said before you don't have to spend a lot of money sometimes what you pay for is simply the marketing, the packaging, but the product in itself doesn't have to be that expensive. So I love this. And the next thing that I adore is the Peter Thomas Roth Retinol Fusion PM. And this is like a nighttime serum. Uh, it has 1.5% retinol and vitamin C and E. And I apply this before my moisturizer at night. I just squeeze a few drops. It comes with a dropper. And I always say I cannot tell you that it gets rid of wrinkles because I don't feel like I have that many wrinkles. Yeah, I have the smileys and I have the fine lines under my eyes and obviously, you know. Um, but how I know that my skin responds well to something is when I put a product on at night and I wake up in the morning and I feel like my skin looks really good not tired not parched not dry just looks plump nice and just feels good and that's how I always feel when I use this so this I don't know how much I've got left of it you can really see but it lasts for a very long time it is a bit um, feels a bit oil-like, not too greasy, but it has that slip. So I love it and I will definitely buy that one again. Then for my SPF, um, I think like the ordinary um, face moisturizers are never enough, the SPF, and it's not it's not normally broad spectrum and I've talked to you um, about it before is the boots on on Sultan and I got the dry touch face Sanke sun cream and it is a ultra light and non greasy anti-aging complex mattifying formula and is 50 SPF 50 and it has the five star UVA rating which is the highest and UVA rays are the ones that are responsible for the skin damage and aging. I love this thing so I've been using it you know all July the whole of July when I went to Spain. It is great for, for under makeup and it does stay matte and obviously has great protection. The next product, which is in between makeup and skincare, oh, I'm crying out loud, this huge box, um, is the It Cosmetic CC Plus Cream. And I'm in medium. You know, I've been using it whole summer. I use that first, then I top it off with my Laura Mercier Mineral Powder. That's what I'm wearing on today. And I absolutely love it. I don't know if I will love it as much in the winter, because in the winter I probably will move on more to uh, proper foundations but for the summer I just love it. I love it that it gives me evens out my skin. It has got great coverage for CC cream 
and of course has the broad spectrum 50 um, SPF. So that was for skincare. And uh, now concealers. Uh, these two will be probably my repeat, but they are still my favorite. The first one is the Naked Urban Decay Naked uh, Skin Concealer in Medium Light Neutral. And that's the one where I use right under my eye because it is the right color for me. Remember, I know I keep banging on about it, but if you have bags, if you put very light, um, light reflecting, illuminating concealer right under your eyes, you're going to emphasize the, the bags. If you want to do highlighting, you do it all below your bags. And that's what I do with my LA Girl Pro Conceal concealer in uh, I use creamy beige and that's when I use it right here for highlighting and I love it and again as you can see this is drugstore inexpensive but this is one of the best concealers I've ever tried and to set my under eye concealer you know I've been loving um, Ben Nye Ben Nye banana powder this is not the original packaging as you know I've just bought a sample of it. Um, it is yellow loose powder. It gives you really even flawless finish. I have now all the, well not all of them, but the three colors of Ben Night powders. So yeah, I've just bought the packet, the little empty pots and I put the samples in there. For my, um, carrying on with face, I have, and this is repeat again, nothing compares to it, Hourglass Bronzer, and mine is the Luminous Bronze Light. Love, love, love it. Use it absolutely every day. Uh, someone asked me if I prefer this to Laura Mercy Ritual. No, I love them both the same way. They are totally different things. Uh, the Laura Mercier a ritual as you know is um, they call it bronze blush so you can use it more as just a blush and it's much darker so I wouldn't really um, like I can use this one all over my face it is a perfect color perfect tone for me and it's not too pigmented it is pigmented but you know it doesn't leave you like with that blob of of muddy color whereas Laura Mercy can be a bit more muddy uh, I think in my, it is much darker first of all so I quite like to use it more for contouring sort of around my cheek area I wouldn't use it all over my face because I would look too dark and too muddy so the ritual is more you have to use it more stre strategically around your face whereas this you can go all over and for my highlighting here, you know how I like to do it. Um, I do it with Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette. Or, um, I still love this. The Wet n Wild Reserve Your Cabana. This, honestly, um, you don't need the Hourglass Ambient Powders. Yes, they are beautiful. There is nothing wrong with them, but they are so expensive. And... This gives you this beautiful, I use it every single day. I absolutely love it. So if you don't have the hourglass, get this and you will get very, very similar effect. The airbrushed, it's it's fabulous, this, this um, product. Honestly, I am so, so amazed. I have two blushes. So I've been really enjoying, they are not new, I've had them in my stash for a while, but you know when you've got so many, um, you tend to stick with a couple and then you forget all about the others. So I've gone back to, this is from Clarins, and this is the Blush Protégé in 03 Miami Pink. I'm wearing that today. This one has like two lighter areas and two darker ones. I just swish it all around. And it is a beautiful candy pink, very delicate, buildable. 
I really, really like this blush, so I'm glad I pulled it out again. And a second blush, which used to be my all-time favourite, is the Ila Masca blush in Sophie. And this one has a bit of a shimmer, but it is not overly shimmery um, on your cheeks, but I just love it. It feels very feels a bit gritty but it might be because of the shimmers but it blends out really nicely so there it is it is quite bright but you can really uh, blend it blend it out so in tone it is similar to the Clarins but I would say it's a bit more peachy so that's the Ila Masca Sophie so I've pulled that one out again now my <laughs> I'll probably talk to you in my one of my Monday videos, the new discovery for me, uh, the Kirkland from Costco facial towelettes. And someone asked me which ones I have got because they said they seem to be in a different packaging. So I've only seen these in our um, Costco and these are... Kirkland All Skin Types Daily Facial Cleansing Towelettes with Chamomile, Triple T Complex and Vitamin E. So let me just zoom it in for you so you can see. And um, you get 30 in here. So um, I really don't know if this is just exclusive to UK or do you get other types but i'm sure i haven't seen any other type in costco just that one but i love them they are the best i've had for, for such a long time my favorites have been johnson um facial wipes but since i've tried those i don't think i can go back um another thing i wanted to show you makeup related is mascaras and yes the benefit roller lash mascara is still my favorite topped off with the kiko ultra tech mascara and you know i've only ever had one mascara that was my favorite for years and it was the max factor experience mascara which has been discontinued i've managed to get some on ebay um, but normally I buy a mascara, it is my favourite for a while and then it stops being my favourite. I sometimes even wonder, you know when the new mascara comes out to the market and you try and you think it's amazing and people jump on a bandwagon and buy lots of them, then you go and buy, buy the next one and it doesn't seem as good. It's almost like they just make it really good to hook you on and then they change the formula or something. I don't know, but that seemed to be happening to me. Um, obviously, I don't know what's that going to be like with the Roller Lash because this is still my first one. But the Kiko Ultra Tech Mascara, this is my third one probably. Um, and whenever I'm in Spain, I always buy it. I can get it online, but um, when I'm in Spain, which I am every year, sometimes twice a year, I always get that mascara. I love it. Um, it is the wand is one of those that has different type of bristles all around but I don't know it just works for me uh, then I've got a makeup brush and this is quite new to me it is a Morphe brush M504 um, again because it's one of those pointy ones and I absolutely love it to stick it right in my crease with that point and so I can stick in my crease like this with the point and then I can angle it like this and sort of blend it. Love, love, I've got two of those. And then I love most of my palettes that I have, but again, I have to go with the Lorac Unzipped because as you know, I've used it absolutely every day in Spain and I'm still using it a lot. I have some of it today on my eyes. Um, I've got all sorts on my eyes. I've been playing again. I wasn't actually planning on doing this video today, so I can't remember what I've got on my eyes because I wasn't paying attention this morning when I was putting the makeup on. Now, uh, for my perfume, and this is again something that I've repurchased, um, 
This is the Givenchy Play and it's the one in pink bottle. I love the bottle because it sort of looks like iPod, um, you know, with the play here, fast forward and rewind with a bit of blinky. And it just reminds me of holiday, of summer. It's, it's quite fresh, a bit sweet. I don't know, I am absolutely useless with describing a perfume. That's why I don't think, I don't think you should ever just go and buy it or order it because someone else like it. If you're interested, then go and spray it and smell it somewhere before you buy it because it's such a personal thing, fragrance, you know, not everybody's gonna like what you like. So, but this is definitely my summery fragrance. So these were my July favourites, um, please let me know what your favourites are, I always like to read it because like I say they could become my favourites. Thank you very much for watching and I see you soon, bye!